<laughs> okay, let's bring you guys over here. My favorite little corner in my house, in my backyard, is this right here. <laughs> I am still sweaty as of hours and hours ago. I worked out this morning and it is currently almost 4 p.m. and I haven't showered yet. Dink. Um, but this is just real life, you guys. And hello. It's always hard to find like the perfect height. Maybe that's like a better height. Um, but hello, you guys. Happy Monday. It is currently a Monday for me. Don't know what day it is for you guys, but happy whatever day of the week it is for you. I just wanted to pop on here and start this little vlog off. I want to be very intentional moving forward of just bringing my vlog camera places, making sure it's charged, and just inviting you guys into my day more. I think, especially as I'm entering this new season of working for myself, I am also kind of retraining and relearning like how to be more active in the content that I'm capturing. I think because my mind was so preoccupied by my corporate job, I was very selective about when I was capturing content and was very like dedicating certain days to when I was capturing content, which to an extent I will absolutely still be doing now as well because I think it's really important when you are sharing so much of your life on the internet to be very cognizant of the boundaries you need to set in order to not burn yourself out and also in order to keep parts of your life sacred and in order to just be respectful of my own life and the privacy of my life while also inviting you guys into more. Um, and that's literally why I took this jump into content creation. It's because I wanted to invite you guys into more of my life. All that's to say, you guys know I can just chitter chatter about so many things. I'm so excited to start off this vlog of this week. I really wanted to introduce this vlog by starting off and just sharing a little bit about what's been on my little baby heart over here so i went to pilates this morning at solid core and i am so very excited to start getting into pilates more and i actually <laughs> have this little stick um wanted to share with you guys a very big like life-ish update which is very important to me so it's kind of wild since this whole transition of quitting my job and you know transitioning careers and working for myself it has been so much incredible change and the thing that i did not expect through all this change is just how much i would be craving change in absolutely every area of my life and one of those areas that i have been surprisingly influenced and desiring to change in is actually been my workout routine and so if you guys know I love to work out I'm super passionate about health and wellness and on honestly just like holistic health and hormonal health especially as a woman like it's so important to care for our hormones and so I recently have just been desiring to change up my workout routine I have been doing high intensity workouts and weightlifting for years, like since I was 18. I was like a runner all through middle school and high school and then got to college and really just wanted to start weightlifting and just put on some muscle, which I love being strong. I love having muscle on my body. It's so important and valuable to care for your body in whichever way that you're desiring. But I think for me, especially as I've been trans transitioning into this new season, I have just seen my body like asking me to just kind of slow down a little bit and not be so intense not be so hard on it and while i don't necessarily think i'm gonna give up strength training completely i think my body is just craving a slower more low intensity kind of workouts that won't put as much strain on my body and so that is actually a really big life update that i wanted to just share with you guys because if there are any women out there who are straining their bodies whether it's through working out or whether it's through weightlifting or high intensity and you just feel yourself 
craving a little more rest, I really encourage you to please listen to that. Your hormone health, your health as a woman is too valuable to neglect just for the sake of a workout or just for the sake of what you think you should do in order to achieve the body you think you should have. And all that's to say, if that is what you do and you weightlift and you do HIIT workouts, I absolutely love that for you. I'm so grateful that you have a routine that you love. So don't hear me wrong when I share this, but just for me personally, like my personal journey with my body and my health and my life season is transitioning to lower intensity workouts. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I also am really excited for this journey for me. I think because I... It maybe it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it honestly is kind of a big deal for me because I have been working out the way that I've been working out literally since I was 18 and I am 26. That's like eight years. And so for me to change my workout routine and to finally kind of like surrender it and like step into something new, a new form of working out, lower intensity workouts, it feels like a big deal for me. And especially now as I've just continued to be healed and restored and just like continue to grow in such a healthy relationship with my body and with my health and just like healing myself from the inside out. I'm so passionate about that. I just feel more freedom than ever before to be so in tune and in such alignment with my body that this transition to doing more Pilates and lower intensity workouts feels like the absolute right one for me. And so I'm so excited, like I said, to take you guys along on this journey and even just to see like the physical benefits of it. I'm like crunching on leaves. That's what that noise is. Um, I'm so excited because I feel like on top of like the mental benefits that I will reap of just more rest and more just not as much stress on my body. I think it'll also reap physical benefits. So I'm just excited to see how like my mental health responds, how my physical health responds. And I want to take you guys on this journey and I want to like document it because I want to also see it for myself. On top of going to Pilates, I also went on a long walk with my friend Hannah. And Hannah, if you're watching this, I love you so much. And we talked all things life and just processed through some things and shared some exciting updates for one another and just shared prayer requests for one another. And I just feel like it was such a incredible start to my Monday, to my week. Thank you, Lord. Um, got some coffee, of course. And then I just came home and I've been working the whole afternoon, aka this, aka why it's 4 p.m. and I still haven't showered. What the heck? Oh, I also went grocery shopping, also made some lunch. And yeah, so it's been a really happy day. I don't have a whole ton planned for this week, but I'm gonna take you guys along on maybe a few days of my life. But yeah, so let's do this, you guys. Okay, love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Okay, let's go to Pilates, yay. It is a beautiful day in Austin, Texas. It is literally, oh my gosh, do I have my phone? It's in my hand. Um, you know when you say, do you have your phone? And then you're like, yeah, I do. I do have my phone. Um, it is literally like 60 degrees this morning and I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, let's go to Pilates and I'll give you guys an update before my little morning walk before I go to my class. Okay. What song do I want to put on? Yeah. I remember when time moves slow. Let's Caution do it. A big old good morning. Oh my gosh. The city looks so stinking gorgeous this morning i'm feeling so grateful oh look at the little doggy gosh literally me every single day of my life when i start filming for you guys i'm always like so stinking zoomed in it's just crazy sometimes i just feel like it's wrong when i start filming and i'm wearing my sunglasses because i feel like i can't see you guys but oh my gosh it's literally so bright right now um well, hi guys. Good morning once again. I am currently walking Ladybird Trail right now. 
and I have about an hour before my Pilates class so I thought perfect timing to just go on a little morning walk with you guys update you guys so I have a lot of thoughts going through my head right now so I'm just gonna start from the beginning I think well I don't even know where the beginning starts truthfully but when I was like starting this video, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do a little like week in the life. But then I started realizing that one of the most pivotal things that I feel like is happening for me this week is actually the fact that I, kind of like I mentioned to you guys earlier this week, I'm pretty sure through like my little like sit down fitness update, is that I'm actually switching from weightlifting and high intensity workouts to more low intensity workouts and Pilates. Also, it's so funny when people see me film, they think it's like the most like crazy thing they've never seen it. But I feel like that has just been such a big update in my week. It's been like at the forefront of my mind. I really am just gonna make the rest of this vlog just kind of updating you guys on the journey today is day four of doing pilates and i truthfully you guys love it so much more than i could have even expected oh my gosh it's it's a bright sun van i've been going to solid core and right now i think i mentioned this yesterday but i'm doing the two weeks like free trial before deciding if i want to sign up for a membership and so far four days in like i am just loving the change and it's so crazy call me crazy but four days in and i genuinely can feel such a difference in my body and my strength i just feel like it's like a newfound strength that i am just really appreciating and even just having a new morning routine of going to a workout class in you know doing a completely different class has just been so good for me and I feel like something that I may have mentioned already but with so much change happening in my life I find myself craving the same change in absolutely every area of my life and my workout routine has really just been the one area that I feel like I've had the most control in I've been working out the same way like lifting weights and doing high intensity since I was truthfully like 18 years old and so throughout my life when so many things are changing that was the one thing that I feel like always felt super rooted always remained quite the same and so it's just kind of a new feeling for me to like as silly as it sounds I think women we might understand but like to surrender that control of what I've always known and being so open-handed to trying something new and truthfully like a huge reason why I decided this was a switch that I needed is one my body was just feeling so exhausted two if you watch my vlog a while back of me going to the gynecologist for the first time which is very important for us women I was honestly just noticing some hormone imbalances in my body that thankfully when I went to the gynecologist everything checked out everything looked good oh I'm super dark um I'm healthy all that sort of stuff praise Jesus but I think I was just realizing like my hormone health my reproductive health especially as a woman is far too important to me to be disrupted and you know this is a personal decision of mine but like after doing just research and kind of looking into it more and also just seeing the way that my body was just being affected by stress and possibly also the stress of doing high intensity workouts i just realized for me moving forward and for my personal health as both a woman but just a human being is that i just don't want to keep stressing out my body the way that i have been in the sense of just high intensity workouts really stress your body um and really spike cortisol and for some people that works do not hear me wrong i'm like all about it also look at this freaking city i love it i'm all about it you guys like did that for years i think my time though has come to an end and my body's just asking me to be more gentle it's asking me to slow down and it's inviting me into a new season and a new appreciation for my body and truthfully gosh I could talk forever um 
but I think it's also been okay my arm is getting so tired it's also just been really redeeming to kind of switch things up and also just show myself and show my body that I don't need to be absolutely exhausting it in order to feel the way I want in order to look the way I want in order to have the workout routine that I want and I think as so many of us do I was really disqualifying low intensity workouts for so many years I was like always hearing how it was so good for you and better for you I'm also about to go to a busy road so you guys might not be able to hear me but I just kind of let that go in one ear and out the other and as I began em embarking on this journey I'm realizing like four days in you guys four days in, I actually technically haven't even taken my fourth class that this is what my body wants this is what my body was created for more slow more gentle movements and just to show my body genuine appreciation versus feeling like I need to go into the gym and absolutely exhaust myself oh my gosh speaking of exhaust myself I'm going up these stairs and my arm is cramping look at all the colors I'm wearing right now we got my pink got my purple even got pink socks that is the dedication of color we have here guys I'm gonna film an outfit of the day in public let's see how this goes I'm like never nervous to like film in public, but I always get some looks when I do. Let's go to Pilates! Yee! If you guys are excited, for my little Pilates journey. I've been sharing a lot of it over on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok because that's where I've been posting more of like my immediate day-to-day -day content. Today is day four and I will round it off with my thoughts on day five. First week of making the switch to low intensity and Pilates workouts. And yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along on the journey. I will try my best to update you guys on like all the different ways that I feel like my mental space transforms and even my body transforms over the next 30 days because I think more than anything I really want to see this transformation for myself and like how I come more to peace with my own self my body my body image my mental state um, and all those sorts of things so yeah if there's anything specific that you guys want to see when it comes to my change from weightlifting to Pilates workout routine, let me know. And last little thing I'll say is content creation is so fun. I've been having so many moments where I've been just so incredibly thankful that this is my job. Like literally this morning when I was writing my journal, I was just like filled with gratitude, filled with praise that this is literally what I get to do for a living. I've been praying about this moment for absolutely forever. But on the same note, just want to be honest, even in areas that I can feel discouraged in, and I think one of those areas is YouTube. I think I really struggle, if I'm being so honest, with the strategy side of YouTube, I think I'll just start like picking up and filming because I'm a very go with the flow kind of person. I don't know if you guys can tell that. And I just like don't really strategize things. So I will just start filming and then literally like with this video midweek, I'll be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should do this as a more focused video of like my change from weightlifting to Pilates and like it makes me kind of kick myself that I didn't think about that when I first started filming this week because I feel like the video overall would be much better if I was more intentional with like shots and the content I was capturing but I just want to be so real with you guys like I always say it but I'm still very much figuring this out I by no means have this mastered and I do not want to ever give off the perception that I do but I hope that even in the midst of my very go with the flow sometimes sporadic kind of filming that you guys are still enjoying this and feeling like you're getting a glimpse into my life and feeling like you're getting a invite into my day-to-day -day. 
And the last, 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 last thing I'll say on that is sometimes I just simply forget to film. I think with content creation, you are so plugged in all the time, whether it's on Instagram, on TikTok, and on YouTube, that sometimes I simply, no offense to you guys, but do not feel like talking or updating, but feel like being very present in my own life. And like I always say, I think it's so incredibly important for me personally in the boundaries that I need to have for myself to keep a lot of things sacred and moments sacred and thoughts sacred and like come to you guys and update you guys when I have the bandwidth and the time and the energy and the capacity to share. So that's also sometimes the reason why I feel like my filming is kind of all over the place, but I know that you guys are always so gracious and I really want that to be the foundation in which my channel is built on. I'm not here to present a perfect image. I'm not here to even present perfect content like I'm here to invite you guys into my life with my shortcomings and all and pray that you guys feel loved welcomed and kind of just get to know me as life goes on so anyways gonna finish up my little walk this morning go to my Pilates class update you guys on how I'm feeling and how I'm doing and then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow for day five of my first full week of Pilates. So let's do this. Mwah. Love you guys. Hello, my honeys, my loves, my booze. I just finished my fifth solid core class of the week. And oh my gosh, am I absolutely toast. I think the most surprising part about solid core and just Pilates in general is I just had no idea all the types of workouts that you can accomplish on a reformer machine. Like, let me tell you guys, it is insane. It's wild. It's crazy. It's incredible. And so concluding my week of doing Pilates and changing my workout routine from high intensity and lifting weights to doing Pilates by saying my conclusion is that I personally love Pilates. I love it you guys. I feel like I've become a Pilates girl. I feel like transformed. Also I hope I'm focused. Um, let's see here. I feel like I look so white. Maybe just because it's so bright out. But I feel like a transformed woman I love Pilates and I think the greatest benefit this entire week is just the peace of mind I've felt like I've had. I've just felt a lot of oneness with my body, oneness with my mind, feeling even like a lot less harder on myself and maybe I'm thinking like subconsciously because I was working out so hard. It was also producing for me personally this like really hard expectation of how hard I should be working out and how my body should be responding and how I should be feeling and I just feel like though solid core is absolutely an intense workout do not hear me wrong I think just lower impact movements gives me even like a lower impact just like expectation of what my body I don't know should feel like should look like I just feel so much more oneness with my body image also look at the city oh my gosh this is gorgeous and yeah it's just been such a wonderful week and something that I feel like I've genuinely been so excited and like looking forward to like I've been like wanting to like put on my workout clothes every morning and work out not that like working out was ever hard for me in the first place but I think especially with just like a change in routine I just find myself feeling so excited about Pilates and so all in all my first week at Pilates was a success. I will say going five days in a row to solid core kicked my butt, kicked my butt. I was working out five days a week, five days a week, six days a week at most. It's like a lot, I know, when I was doing high intensity workouts and wanted to try out doing the same frequency of working out but doing Pilates and I love it. So I'm currently considering getting a membership to Solid Core, which I'm very excited about. There's some logistics that I wanna make sure will line up for all my upcoming travels and making sure I would have access to studios elsewhere, because if not, then I'll have to reevaluate. But more than a studio itself, I think 
the principle of low intensity workouts and just doing Pilates is something I've fallen in love with. So I'm really excited for this journey and I just also want this to be an encouragement if there's any man or woman out there, if you are just feeling really burnt out or exhausted from your workout routine, if you find yourself just being really hard on yourself to just like expecting yourself to always have to work out so hard and kind of like enslave yourself to the gym, like I want to speak into that and just say that that does not have to be true. I don't believe our bodies are designed to be worked as hard as we push them sometimes. So if anything you can learn from this video, Give your body the rest it may be yearning for. If it's not yearning for that, listen to yourself. But if you are yearning for greater rest, then absolutely take that rest. Doing lower intense workouts could be a saving grace for you. I know it's been for me just in this week alone, and I definitely think it's something I'm gonna keep up from here on forward. So yay, you guys, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I will definitely be sharing more about Pilates in the future. But one last view of the beautiful city, and I will talk to you guys very soon. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being a part of my life, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Pretty little city, pretty little city.